just had to tail in on that one. But uh, I want to commend Mr. Prince for his duties, for his skill, and for his heading up Blackwater. However, when I hear that one of the patron saints of some people, uh, Rush Limbo, called our soldiers who have been critical of the experience in Iraq, phony soldiers, I am offended. And you should be offended too. And there was a sign over there earlier, Mr. Chair, uh, the General Petraeus satire, and I had sent a message that it should be taken down because it was insulting to people. And I think that people that call our soldiers who speak from experience, phony, ought to be made to apologize. Would the gentlelady from Hollywood yield for a question? No, patient? I will not yield because I have just a little time. Uh, let me say this. I am really concerned when it comes to privatizing the various struggles that we are having in a war zone. And I'm looking at a book here that says Blackwater, the rise of the world's most powerful mercenary army. That is really disturbing to me because I feel that every young man and woman or every man and woman in the military ought to be paid for their service. And I think you're making a good argument for the amount of money that you have been paid, your organization. And I think my question is, do you feel that we ought to continue on with privatizing the kinds of duties that our military should be trained to execute? Ma'am, the United States military is the finest, most powerful military in the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. Bar none. And they should be paid accordingly. It's designed for large-scale conventional operations. What they did to Saddam in 91, and well, then, then again there's in something wrong with the design, and that's my point. Oh. I think you responded, and I hear you clearly. You are providing a service, and I commend you. Let me just continue on. Uh, you are providing a service. And those little uh, voids, Mr. Chairman and committee members, ought to be filled by the young, the people who volunteer. We have no draft. These are volunteers. And why should they put their lives on the line for this country and not be compensated so their families back at home don't have to go on welfare and are living uh, in housing that is substandard. And I am just infuriated, not with you, but with the fact that our State Department and our Department of Defense cannot see their way. And they talk about we don't have the money, saving money. This war is costing us a trillion dollars. You have been paid over a billion dollars and will continue to be paid so that you can buy the helicopters that are shot down. And so my question to you, are we going to have to continue to privatize because we're not training to do what you do? And would it not be better to hire you to train our military to do the kind of guarding or a VIP personnel? Whenever there's a Codell, you have to guard them. When people from the State Department comes, you have to guard them because we say that our military is not prepared and not trained to do that. Oh, well, ma'am, I'm happy to say that we do a significant amount of training for the U.S. military uh, every day at our uh, uh, couple of facilities we have around the country. But you're saying that you feel in a specialty area. It's and a specialty my gap, question a high -end that I throw security. out to all of us is why can't we train these people who are willing, who have courage to go in to the military, but then we have to bring on a private firm 
to do the job they should be trained to do and pay them three or four times more than we pay those who choose to serve their country by fighting in theater. The military could do that, but the U.S. military can't be all things to all people all the time. We Why not? Gentlelady's time has expired. It's the tyranny of shortage of time and, 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 and distance. I mean, you can't have a, uh, an anti-air missile guy also be doing PSD missions and knowing how to be an aviation mechanic. They, they're, it's too broad of a base of, uh, of skill requirement. Mr. We need more people. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, may I have one minute?